excited to use the James Webb Space Telescope to look for signs of life in the atmospheres of potentially habitable planets. And in particular, we're searching for signatures called biosignatures, which are remotely observable signs of life. Now on Earth, some of the important biosignatures of our own planet are oxygen, which is produced by oxygenic photosynthesis that, of course, we all know plants do that. Um, there's all sorts of microbes that also do oxygenic photosynthesis. And a lot of people consider it the dominant metabolism of our planet. Another important biosignature of Earth is methane. A methane on our planet is produced by microbes that live in a variety of places, ranging from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean to the guts of cows. And they produce most of the methane that's in our planet's atmosphere. So these are important gases that we want to look for in the atmospheres of exoplanets with the James Webb Space Telescope. But you also have to really carefully interpret that gas. That is, does it make sense for life to produce that given biosignature in that given environment? And then, really importantly, you also want to rule out what are called biosignature false positives. A biosignature false positives are non-life ways that a planet can fool you by producing, you know, something that looks like a biosignature, but it's not actually a biosignature because it's not produced by life. It's produced by some other process like volcanism or atmospheric chemistry or, you know, any other process that doesn't involve life. So all of this together means this is a really exciting search, but it's going to be complicated. And if we detect something that we think is a biosignature when we look at an exoplanet, it might not immediately be definitive. It might be ambiguous until we collect more data to better understand it in the context of its environment.